Let's take a look at whether ClO4 minus, the perchlorate ion, is polar or nonpolar. And this is an ion, so overall there is a one minus charge on it. So let's talk about the polarity first by looking at the electronegativity difference between the chlorine and the oxygen atoms. So we have this periodic table with the electronegativity values written in. Here's oxygen and here's chlorine. So there is a difference in electronegativity. And the electrons, these bonding electrons between the chlorine and the oxygen, they won't be shared equally. So we should have a dipole on the bond here. But to understand the overall dipole, whether it's polar or not, we need to look at the molecular geometry. So here is our perchlorate ion. Remember, the whole thing has a 1 minus ionic charge. Let's look at the dipole for the individual bonds here between the chlorine and the oxygen. When we do that, we can see that the dipoles, they're going up through the oxygen. So if you look at the oxygen, the line goes through chlorine and up through the oxygen. So the dipole points towards the oxygen. And that's the case on each one of these oxygens. So each of these bonds, it is a polar bond. But overall, all of these cancel out. If we looked at the overall net dipole, there isn't one because they all cancel out. So as an ion, this is nonpolar. Let's go back. So even though we had those double bonds, all of these are average in this average resonance structure for the perchlorate ion here. So each one of these is equivalent. They're pointing in opposite directions. We don't have a dipole for the ion. Do understand that this is a negative ion. This is an anion, the perchlorate anion. So overall, it has a charge, that negative charge, and it's distributed around the, the ion, and that allows it to interact with polar molecules like water. But the actual ion here is nonpolar because it's symmetrical. It's Dr. B with the polarity of ClO4 minus the perchlorine ion. Thanks for watching.